Corin, you've just knocked out the world number three and former world champion Stuart Bingham. You must be feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, it's um, it's a tough draw. Stuart's a great champion, and um, you know he's shown that in that match. I kept feeling like I was trying to pull away, and he kept coming back at me. And um, yeah, delighted to get over the line in the end. And two quarterfinals here in a row—that's a great achievement. Yeah, you know, I've only been here for three years now, so to do two quarterfinals within three years is uh, a bit of a feather in my cap, but, um, you know, I don't want it to stop there. Yeah, I remember you came here last year and you said, I will come back and win this tournament, so presumably you still feel the same way? Yeah, you know, I don't want people to think that I'm a bit of a big head, and, you know, but I, I meant it as in, I feel very comfortable here, I, I love the Crucible, I love the World Championships, and, um, you know, to feel comfortable, like you're almost in your practice room, um, is, is essential, and, you know, that's why I said it, because I feel like um, I've got what it takes to go there. And how close do you feel to the top of your game? Yeah, I'm, I'm very much getting there. I didn't play too well in that match, to be honest, so I think it's a bit of a testament to my game. Um, there was, it was a bit scrappy, but then when I got in, I showed I could score. My long game was there, and um, I felt my safety game was quite good, so um, to step it up a bit like I felt I did in the final session was, was very impressive for myself because, you know, that's where the pressure really comes on. Mark Allen or John Higgins next. Will you be watching that game and getting a sense of how they're both playing? No, I, I won't. I won't watch. Well, I won't plan to watch. You know, I love the snooker. I always try and tune into BBC or Eurosport. So, um, yeah, if, if I'm if I'm not doing anything, I'll watch it. But um, you know, it's about preparing myself. I'm not going to worry about anyone else. And finally, we've got to take a look at this purple stripe on your on your trousers. You've uh, worn it for your first two matches and won them both. Are you going to stick with it? Um, I've actually wore this suit in my final session of each match, so um, you know maybe it's a bit of a, a good luck charm. It's my mum's favourite colour, so you know keeping her happy is the main thing. Thanks, Karen. Well done. Cheers. Thanks. Celebrating 40 years of history at the Crucible.